Welcome back to my desk. This is my desk. Miscellaneous paperwork, my other glasses. But I didn't bring you here today to show you my desk. I brought you here today because I don't know what to do about Planet Erwin this week. I roll the three, I get to bring an elite choice to the game, should I so choose. These are five Vanguard Veterans, three Thunder Hammers, two Power Fists. Brother Sweet Chuck, almost done. Also, this pile here, I could sort this all out. These are all the other things I can turn into elite choices. Lots of Veterans, lots of Scouts. However, I have elite choices that are done. I can bring an Apothecary, a Champion, the Imperial Space Marine, or some Scouts. But, you know, originally getting into the Slow Girl campaign, painting up new models for it was, was part of the reason I wanted to. It was, it was one of the reasons that I, the, the campaign appealed to me. However, the Farseer brought this over, the crashed Aquila Lander. If you watched the previous episode of the campaign, you saw this piece thrown in kind of haphazardly. Now, the Farseer, he's, he's literally half my age. But he's been playing 40k longer than I have. He got this with um, the Battle for McCraig box. I didn't start playing until a little bit before Assault on Black Reach. Um, so he got this when he was a straight up child. I mean, he's he's almost a child now. Um, but he's had this for a long time, and all this paint got put on by like a nine year old boy, and cleaning it all up. Well, if I was to do it, like, right, I would want to strip it. But I don't have time to strip it because I play again in just a couple of days, and it's kind of a, it's not a big project, but it's not a small project either. But I also feel a little bit guilty stripping it because, you know, it's the guy's history. Now, he doesn't have anything to do with it. Now, he is um, quite the young man. He's got one of those real jobs that people get that require a lot of attention and He's the type of guy that girls like, and he's a busy dude. He plays hockey a couple times a week. He's got no time for this, so he's passed this over to me. And I could totally put this on the table. It, it's a nice little project. Smashing in with Thunder Hammers also sounds real good. Lots of other choices, and let's not, let's not forget. So, this is the closet. And this is where the real pile of shame lies. We start with... The comic books, I haven't read a comic book in 20 years, but I keep moving them from home to home. We get up in here, we have a bunch of fantasy models that need to be based. Got some gene sealer cults I periodically work with with my son. Up here you have the remnants of my music career. I was both rock star and radio GJ at one point. But if you turn the corner right here, boom, we have the real pile of shame. I have the kill team box with a bunch of Mechanicus terrain in it. And then over here, I have a bunch of the, um, the other terrain. There's, there's the, like the Basilica looking terrain and then like the Adeptus Mechanicus looking terrain. And I got one with the Kill Team box, the other one with the Shadow War Armageddon box. And my original plan was I was going to buy more of that type of terrain in like large structures where, well, a lot of years has gone by now. And, um, they don't sell those items on the website anymore. At least I tried to find them on eBay. So that's just piles of shame that have sat and have lasted. And we go up, we have this is my Imperial Knight, Hodgepodge, Orcs, this is Orcs, this is Orcs, Tau, more Tau, Slanesh, more Orcs. There's a lot of stuff in here. And you think, well, that's, that's a heck of a pile of shame, but it gets worse because we got to go down. And forgive me for the mess, I kind of live in this room. But down here, if we go way low, I have bins and bins and bins of things to build terrain out of and uh, and boxes and this this bin down here is all sand and there is tons of stuff to you this is throw some of this around this is a fisher price firehouse that's waiting to turn into an imperial hospital so i have lots of stuff to do i have today's friday morning tomorrow's my day off work i i managed to day off work for just good luck, and I'll have Sunday night. So I have time to get something done, but what? Returning to the light box. This is my light box. 
These are Elise Choices that are finished. Here we have some, some scouts. This is my favorite scout because I actually painted his eyes. Maybe we can get him to focus, maybe we can't. I rarely ever paint eyeballs. I painted his. Uh, his head's from um, me game day captain from, I think, 2010. And I like him a lot. Now, if I, I bring the scouts, I, of course, can only bring five. I would probably get rid of this brother here. He'd probably go. So I can bring five scouts. Um, however, scouts, not as impressive as they used to be. This is brother McIntyre. He is my chief apothecary. I've never run him as anything but, so I only had him finished for a little while. I've had him forever, but he's only been finished in like the last year or so. He hasn't seen the table too much. He's a great choice. He's He does work. He's somebody that I, I would really like to bring. He's easy. He's an easy choice. He is. This is Brother 3030. Brother 3030 is somebody I love, and he never makes it to the table, ever. Because, you know, he's 60 points, and he doesn't do that much. But he's somebody I love a lot. Something I like about the idea of bringing him is... I've had more points than the Farseer for the whole campaign. The last game we played, 780, and um, I know the Farseer's rolled an HQ choice coming up, and if he brings a Farseer, that's another 130 points. If I bring 30-30, that's just another 60 points, and we start to bridge that point gap a little bit. And so I also, because of the way characters level up, it's a chance for him to really shine and have uh, some good moments on the table where otherwise I don't think we'll see too much of him. Finally, we have this unnamed champion. And I don't know why he hasn't got a name yet, but he hasn't. There's no name for him yet. Um, I would, of course, pay the points to run him as a chapter champion. Um, but I don't bring him much because I have much more of a shooty army than I do an assault army. And the assault part of my army is all on jump packs. So anyway, it's not like I don't have choices. I can bring any one of these units not have to work on Space Marines. However, if you go behind the light box, pull one of these guys out. There's something to be said for some Vanguard veterans. I've had these guys forever too. And I would love to have them done. I would love them to be done units to put on the table. I really, you know, I was, I was trying to get the light right on these, but I realized it's just because they're not finished painted. The, 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 the colors are dull. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to work on veterans. I think... I'm not going to take them. I'm not going to take him. I'll take one of these two brothers to Irwin. And then that leaves me with the problem of what to do with my weekend. I have the rest of today, half of tomorrow, to finish a project. Is it the lander? There, there's so much stuff down in here. I have uh, the fantasy uh, Witch Fate Tor, which was uh, a big tower that's in here somewhere. And the Honored Imperium stuff with like that, that big aquila that's smashed on the ground. I got some volcanoes. I mean, there's there's so much going on in here. But the downside to all this is I got to dig it out and figure out what to do with it. What is this? There's lots of stuff. Popsicle sticks, Fisher Price, and cotton to make smoke out of, and just miscellaneous things to build kits out of that I've had forever. Or this stuff. See, once I pulled this out, I got kind of overwhelmed too. Because there's, so we have just sprues and sprues and sprues of that. I can't remember, either this one's the Sector Mechanicus or the other one's Sector Mechanicus. I wonder if they're both actually Sector Mechanicus. But as you can see, I have one, two, three, I have seven frames of this stuff. That's a little bit too overwhelming for me right now. I think it's got to be the lander. That makes the most sense. And since I got it all out, let's talk about it. Other choices that I, I cast aside right at the beginning were, first of all, I have all these scouts that can be broken down into sniper squads and not sniper squads. And they're all close to being finished. I have all these veterans. When I first started building Marines, I thought I was going to be Black Templar, so I wanted some, um, some special weapon guys to go in the Crusade squads, but... Then the book where we got to get our own chapter tactics came out. He was going to be the Emperor's champion. He's just a veteran now. Uh, once we could build our own chapter tactics, well, I of course wanted to have my own chapter. 
So these men just ended up becoming veterans. And they're finishable. They're not that hard. Um, we have a second squad of Vanguard veterans here. Claws, claws, claws. Relic blade. Up here we have this Imperial bodyguard from the Marnius, Marnius Calgar box. I, just, I love old metal models. I'm actually dying to paint these, but they just, you know, they don't do that much. They protect characters, and most of my characters have jump packs. Uh, this is the banner guy. Um, this this is blue tacked here because it's got to go back to the top. Yeah, he's low priority. And then I have these veterans down here. He's He's got a thuggy club. Come on, focus in there. And again, nothing here is done. He is cheeky. You'll also notice that he's on Marnius Kelgar's base. I don't know how he, he came up with that. I love this guy. He's he's one of my favorite sculpts ever. I, I had thought about maybe he's a lieutenant, um, but I already have two lieutenants. I don't need another lieutenant. So currently he's just in the vet, veteran pile waiting to be painted. And then this guy here. I don't remember where the kit came from. It's something from War Machine. That was going to be a power mold. So anyway, I have a lot of choices. But I think I'm going to be working on terrain. I guess we'll find out on Monday when it's time to fill the next game in the campaign for Erwin. Anyway, these are the thoughts I'm thinking today with my out of the blue day off. Didn't think I'd have the day off today. And now I have options. I'd love to finish this guy too. Um, but I think we're going to work on terrain. If you've been joining us on Planet Erwin, thanks for being there. I'm glad that people are watching. I'm humbly surprised at how many views I've gotten so far. And I, I really appreciate it. I'm so happy to get to share my little corner of the hobby with you. Uh, thanks for being a watcher. I hope you show up for the next video. I should post it Tuesday or Wednesday, probably. Happy Wargaming. And since we're sitting here at the desk, just wanted to pull these out. The Tau are on the way. I will make a separate video about the Tau being on their way because I've had them since the Battle of McCraig came out. They were my starting army. And when I began the Tau, I decided that they were going to be yellow and red with white for HQs and black for gear and being a beginning hobbyist, how do you know that painting yellow and red is going to be so hard? And um, so they've taken a long time. But I'm pretty dedicated to getting them done. They'll be on the tabletop soon. I hope for the next campaign, the battle of whatever planet we decide to call the next campaign. Also, I'm fully aware that nobody needs three ethereals. I love them. Like, seriously, all I want to paint are top ethereals. I have three more to do, many more to buy. Uh, they're, they're literally my favorite, uh, favorite models. Particularly, I love this gentleman here. I don't know, none of these guys have names yet, but I do like the ethereals. He, I customized just for fun and then loved him. I will use Vindicare Assassin rules with him if he ever makes it to the table. And then Grek from Blackstone Fortress, who's God, he's so cool. He's so cool. Anyway, for the second time in a video, happy wargaming.